Midas has returned with a new Four Nightmares update and, well, he's a little angrier this time around. Things went from zero to 100 quick as we discover new secrets explaining how exactly Midas was brought back from the dead and what his plans are using his newfound shadow army to wreak chaos across the world of Fortnite. Galactus hasn't stopped his journey to come here though, and as we face a monumental obstacle of defeating Midas and his new army, we're now being attacked on both fronts and our chances of winning this war are dwindling. Welcome to the Fortnite Season 4 Storyline Explained Part 3. And I know it's been a while since our last episode, let's rewind and not only go over new secrets we missed, but also refresh your memory on where this story left off with how we got here. Since Chapter 2 began, everything has been leading up to this upcoming fight against Galactus. In Season 1, everything seemed pretty straightforward. We had two teams known as Ghost and Shadow who were fighting each other for control of the island. Then, as things moved into Season 2, we were introduced to something known as The Agency, a team of secret agents spread across the Fortnite island who have been on standby. They were called to action and made their way to the Agency, mostly made up of Ghost members. This small team is led by Midas, a mysterious billionaire who has the power to turn things into gold. Midas, along with his accomplices, are stuck in a war against Shadow over control of the island. However, secretly, as his friends fight the battle, Midas works with a shadow engineer named Jules on a secret machine known as the Doomsday Device. At the finale of Season 2, they powered on the device and began to try to control and defy what we know as the Storm. However, in retaliation, the Storm, which most players don't know is actually alive, we'll touch on that later, fought back against the device. Midas and John Jones, the leader of Ghost, did not anticipate this and turned the power of the device up. This actually worked and got rid of the storm, leaving the island in perfect harmony. Well, it definitely didn't end with sunshine and rainbows though. All good things must come to an end. As the device shut down, the storm began to reappear as a thick wall of water. Then comes season three, where the wall of water collapses, completely flooding the island and changing it forever. Midas' plan failed, and we find out he was left stranded in the water, eventually being eaten by a shark. Fast forward to season four where Galactus has stumbled across a zero point. In an attempt to stop him and save the island, Thor recruits some heroes and Tony Stark to prevent Galactus from destroying space and time as we know it. If Galactus gets his hands on the zero point, who knows what kind of power he'll hold? This is the moment that Tony Stark uses his knowledge to study the battle bus, the zero point energy, and begins to rift in even more heroes to help stop Galactus. It seems the fate of the Fortnite island is up to us and Tony Stark to save it, or else. But in the midst of all this chaos, something unnatural has happened. While Ghost and Shadow have been almost wiped away and all the former members nowhere to be found, a familiar foe has returned. Revenge is a dish best served gold? Yeah, and that brings us to today, with a massive new threat to face before Galactus arrives at the island. And that threat is... The Return of Midas. Right now on the Fortnite Island, a dark fog has covered the map. If you head over to the Authority, which has been abandoned by Jules since the start of the season, you'll find a weird looking circle of candles in the top room. It appears this is some kind of summoning circle, and it has Midas' famous golden chair floating right at the center of all of it. This would be cool by itself, except the Authority isn't abandoned anymore. In fact, it's not even called the Authority. Introducing the Ruins, the leftover of the agency now being inhabited by none other than Midas. He has somehow returned from the grave thanks to this mysterious ritual and has brought some of his henchmen back with him. Although Midas is now just a shadow of his former self. Pun kinda intended there. Well anyway, he's taken on a new form being trapped between the dead and living, and while he was unable to defeat the storm with his device, the storm got its revenge and effectively wiped out both Ghost and Shadow. But now, Midas is back, and he's seeking revenge for all that was taken from him. Shadow Midas glows purple, and his skin, along with all the shadows he's created, seem very similar to the effects of the Shadow Stones from Chapter 1. If you don't remember, Shadow Stones were small chunks of dark cube energy that gave you powers of being a shadow. So, if shadows are being created by dark or cube energy, then there's only really one person we can assume who brought Midas back to life. Our theory is the villain of Chapter 2, Chaos Agent. I mean, think about it. We know from previous seasons that Chaos Agent is the owner of Kevolution Energy, which manufactures this mysterious dark energy, but it's not 100% confirmed yet. Regardless, Midas is back with a new lust for revenge against the entire island, where he plans to turn everyone into a shadow. He wants to enslave the entire island. According to the message of the day, you must defend against the Horde or you'll find yourself joining Midas' shadow army as they swarm the island and corrupt every poor soul they subdue. 
As a shadow, all your audio is distorted, such as your emotes and even your voice chat. This is likely a side effect of being in the shadow realm. This even applies to Shadow Midas too, as you could listen to him walking around the agency. He actually speaks some English, saying who's here, and you could vaguely make out the words, I'm sorry. The rest of his voice lines are just his original audio backwards and some henchman language, but it's still cool to hear his voice again. So, as the storyline goes right now, we think Chaos Agent possibly brought back Midas to life to either wreak havoc or distract the island while Galactus gets closer, possibly as an opportunity to seize power. For now, we're left fighting Midas and his shadow goons until November 2nd, but that leaves us with a few questions. First, it's pretty obvious that we're gonna defeat Midas at the end of Fortnite Mares. His plan for revenge will fail once again, and he'll likely return to being dead, or will he? Don't forget the last laugh bundle we've talked about a few times in our videos that's coming out in just three weeks. This bundle contains Poison Ivy, the Joker, and none other than Midas himself, uh, again. Yep, yet another version of Midas. What's different this time around is this is Midas Rex, a completely rebuilt human version of himself. Well, kinda human. And that leaves the biggest elephant in the room that both me and you are probably thinking right now. How will Midas transform from an undead phantom to a cyborg in this time? This is the most important part. You need to pay attention right now. It's time we come full circle and explain everything. It's time we look towards the future. With Midas Rex around the corner and Shadow Midas producing some sort of evil plan, where will we go from here? It begs the question, why did Chaos Agent bring Midas back to life in the first place? Could there be much more dark energy on the island than actual zero point energy? It might be irrelevant after Fort Nightmares, but it could also mean that Chaos Agent can still use all the energy over at Steamy Stacks for other purposes. Also, is Midas now working with Chaos Agent to take over the island, or was he just a pawn who has no idea how he came back to life? I mean, we haven't seen Chaos Agent for months, and the last time we saw him, it was a ghost version of him, so honestly, it's kind of like Epic is just giving us one big middle finger. I mean, who knows? Maybe it was someone else who brought Midas back to life, but I, I can't exactly think of anyone who has that kind of power. We've always kind of associated a type of energy with a main storyline character. For example, Rift Energy is associated with the Seven, Zero Point Energy is associated with Midas and Singularity, and of course, Dark Cube Energy is associated with Chaos Agent. I mean, it's not the first time Chaos Agent has tried to destroy the map for Fortnite Mares. Last year, Fortnite Mares was literally the event that we were introduced to Chaos Agent. At this event, the center island was overrun by a being known as the Storm King. We had to defeat him as part of Fortnite Mares. Well, anyway, do you remember last year in default playlist, we actually got random zombies around the map? Here's one thing almost all players missed. These zombies aren't called fiends or anything else like that. Epic Games has confirmed that the Battle Royale zombies aren't husks from Save the World, rather their official names being Cube Monsters. Why would they go out of their way to make that distinction? Unless it was essential to the plot. It means that Chaos Agent has been using the cube and its dark energy for years to try and take over the island every four nightmares. This year is just a different version of that plan, using Midas in the shadows as his servants instead. So Midas gets rebuilt in the future, what could happen? Well, it's possible that Jules attempts to build a suit in order to keep Midas alive and turns him into some kind of cyborg. The bundle itself is very interesting though. I mean, notice how this is a bundle full of super villains. Why would Midas be in a pack of villains if Epic Games didn't consider him to be one? We've gone back and forth for a long time wondering if Midas is in the right or in the wrong, and with Fortnite Nightmares this year as well as this upcoming pack, we're starting to see his true colors. The Last Laugh Bundle comes out November 17th, just a few days before the live event, which will most likely happen on the 21st. So, will Midas decide to help us in the bigger fight against Galactus? Were any of the Marvel or DC heroes and villains involved in Midas' resurrection? In fact, does Midas even have a motivation to stop Galactus from destroying the universe? I mean, who knows? But as Galactus makes his way closer to the island by the day, it's getting harder and harder to figure out if we're gonna win or not. Midas' cyborg outfit looks heavily inspired by Oro, and it's interesting to note that Oro is in the item shop right now. Will we see him reintroduced in the storyline? Will we finally have the answer to who Oro is? Maybe one day, but for now, we can just sit here and laugh in excitement at the upcoming live event. As for Midas and his plan, it will almost certainly fail, but as we have all come to learn, this is a man that never gives up. No matter how hard he loses, no matter how many times he's eaten by a shark or defeated by the island, he always comes back. With the impending doom of Galactus in a matter of weeks and a bloodthirsty army of shadows ready to ruin all the progress we've made for war preparations, it's looking less and less likely we'll win this war.
But no matter what, we'll be here to cover every step of this story from start to finish. Thanks for watching. This has been Tommy, and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.